and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to take a look at Manual 3 of the Floor Manual Excel Master Series. In this manual we cover regression, what it is and how to do it in Excel. We also cover some advanced topics in regression such as using dummy variables and performing conjoint analysis and we do it all in Excel. We'll show you how, to, how that works. The second section covers the independence tests using the built-in ANOVA functions in Excel. Third section covers the chi-squared independence test, and the last section of this manual covers the chi-square variance test, and we show how to do everything in Excel. Let's take a look at the table of contents of this manual. If we click on any section in the table of contents, you're taken right to that section of the book. So let's go to the first section in this book, the regression section, click on there, and we go right to the chapter on regression. And we can see in this chapter, each regression is a four-step process. And there are lots of regression problems in this book, and we apply the four-step process to each one of those so you see exactly how it works. And we give you a very good explanation of what is regression, what are all the variables, how does it work. And we walk you through in Excel, step by step. We're doing the first step, graphing the data. You always create a graph of all the data when you first perform a regression, just to see if there's a regression uh, relationship in the data. We show step by step with screenshots of how to do that and we show that in this case there is a relationship. And this is really the fastest way to climb the Excel statistical learning curve. Step by step, you'll be able to do all of this stuff the first time you go through this manual. Here's step two, running the regression, doing the correlation analysis, the output of the correlation analysis, how to interpret that. And then we walk you through the screenshots of how to do the regression and the output will be color coded. We'll walk through all of that so you thoroughly understand what you're looking at. We have a long, simple explanation of the output. That's one thing you'll really like about this manual. Is everything is explained in simple language. There are all the formulas explained in ways that you'll understand. It's not written by a, stat, a PhD statistician, but by a business manager speaking to other business managers in simple language. You'll find you, you'll learn a lot quicker from this manual than from a thick statistics textbook. And now we're covering dummy variables and we're using conjoint analysis to show how they work. The conjoint analysis has a seven step process in Excel. And we walk you through it how to do conjoint in Excel and it uses dummy variables. And you'll fully understand how they're used when you see that in this context. The second section is independence tests using the built in ANOVA functions. There are three major ANOVA functions built into Excel and we walk through problems showing each one of those. At the end of this we show a hand calculation of the ANOVA function and here we are showing step by step with screenshots walking through the first one and the output. Everything is color coded and we walk through the output so you can understand it. Here's the second ANOVA function and we show how to set the problems up, what is a typical problem. The outputs are always color coded and explained slowly, carefully, and thoroughly so you understand exactly what the output means. And here's the third type of ANOVA, once again showing how to set that up, what differentiates that from the other types of ANOVA, color-coded output so you can see exactly what you're looking at, and then an explanation of why the answer is what it is, and, and the p-value, everything's explained very simply. And at the end of this section, we walk through that performing hand calculations of ANOVA. So you'll, you'll, you'll see how much easier it is to do it on Excel. The answers are the same. And here's the third section, chi-squared independence test. We walk through what is it, what, is the, what are the contingency tables, what are the degrees of freedom, all the different formulas that you're going to need to use. And then we walk through a problem step by step, actually a couple of problems. And you can see all the information is presented in bite-sized chunks. You'll be able to easily digest this book. It's easy to understand and we show graphs to show exactly what it is. And the last section of this book is the chi-squared uh, variance test. And there's a five-step process to go through that. We have a couple problems in here. We show exactly how that five-step process is walked through. Step by step. The emphasis is on frameworks, not academic theory that won't help you solve problems, but frameworks. Step one, two, three, four, and we walk through problems showing exactly how that five-step process is applied in every case. So you'll be able to take this process and apply it to other problems on your job, uh, in your class, and that, that's the emphasis of this book. That's book three, 
regression, the chi-squared independence of variable, variance test, the independence test with ANOVA, and you can get that right on the website. It's very, very reasonably priced. It's a good book, easy to go through. And if you like the graphs that you just saw, take a look at the Manual 4 of the Excel Master Series. We walked through all of that, and we walked step by step. Manual 4 has all of the lessons in streaming video. Right now, you're looking at some of the excerpts out of some of that video, and we show you exactly how to create these graphs step by step. You'll be able to make those graphs, those interactive graphs, the very first time that you watch this video. I'm walking through and I'm narrating it, telling you what's in each cell. And we show you a lot of tips in Excel. Right here, we're verifying the inputs of one of the cells. That's a very important thing to do, and we'll show you how to do that. There are a lot of tips that you'll learn watching this video that you might not know. For example, we're walking through step by step making the graph right here. And you're looking at excerpts of the video right out of Manual 4. And you'll learn a lot of tricks in Excel right here. For example, we're taking the x axis and showing how to make that in increments of whole numbers so that it looks a lot better. All kinds of tricks that you might not have known about to make your graphs look a lot more professional. And all of the graphs are interactive. We start each section. These are little five minute videos in each graph, in each type of a graph. And we show the interactivity, varying the parameters and watching that graph move. Here we're showing how to make the graph and we're showing, uh, we also show some of the mistakes that people make when creating these graphs. It's step by step. You can't go wrong. You'll see exactly how to do it. And I don't know where this information is anywhere else, but you can watch me do it and you can have Excel set up in your computer and do it right along the side of me. You don't need expensive software such as SAS or SPSS. As long as you have a basic knowledge of Excel, you'll be able to do this. And everything's presented in bite-sized chunks. Uh, here's an interesting distribution, the chi-square distribution. It resembles a wave rolling from left to right as you increase the one parameter, the degrees of freedom. You'll be able to create this distribution with this kind of interactivity. We'll show you exactly how to do it. It's kind of a complicated distribution, the chi-square distribution. You have to build it up. We show you how to do it. We show you what's in each cell. Now we're going through the T distribution right here. That also had to be built up. It's complicated, but I will walk you through it and show you step by step how to make the T distribution. Here we're verifying the inputs, very important process. These are just excerpts out of the videos. And you'll find frameworks here you won't find anywhere else. So if you want to learn MBA level statistics and be a functional problem solver and be able to do all of it in Excel, this is really the manual for you. And here's another very useful distribution, the binomial distribution. We're varying the two parameters, the number of trials and probability of success in each trial, and watching that distribution move around. You'll be able to create this graph. I walk you through exactly how to create that graph that you're looking at right there with that interactivity. It's a five minute video like all the other ones. The last video here is the F distribution. We're solving problems in the F distribution. The F distribution usually uses ANOVA and we walk you through how to do that with the F distribution. All of the answers are color coded. I walk you through it so you can see exactly what you're looking at real easily. Very easy to understand. Simplicity is the most important thing. You'll be able to understand it the first time around. And that's the graphing manual. So get it at xlmasterseries.com slash emanual.php. Very reasonably priced, and you will become an Excel statistical master. Okay, thank you very much, and goodbye.